This video is about displacement reactions. In the reaction here we have magnesium plus copper sulphate and in a displacement reaction what happens is a more reactive metal comes in and displaces or kicks out a less reactive metal. So for example magnesium here in this example is the reactive metal and copper is less reactive than magnesium. We can see this by looking at the reactivity series of metals. We've got potassium at the top all the way down to platinum at the bottom and when looking at displacement reactions you need to look at the reactivity series and see where the metals lie in relation to each other. So for the first example you've got magnesium which is near the top and copper which is below magnesium. So in this case magnesium is the more reactive metal it will come in and displace or kick out the copper. So if we were to complete this word equation we'd be left with magnesium sulphate plus copper because the magnesium the more reactive metal comes in and it kicks out the copper so if it kicks out the copper the copper is left on its own and then the magnesium is bonded to the sulphate so you're just swapping the words around you're just swapping these two words around for our second example we have got zinc plus iron nitrate. So we look at our reactivity series. Zinc is higher on the reactivity series than iron. So this reaction will work. Zinc will come in, displace or kick out the iron, and we will be left with, just swapping the words around, zinc nitrate plus iron. In our final example we have got copper plus iron chloride. We look at the reactivity series but we see that in this case copper is below iron on the reactivity series. Copper is less reactive than iron. Therefore in this case this reaction won't work. The iron is more reactive so it's going to stay with its chloride and the copper is not reactive enough to come in and kick that out. So in this case the reaction will not happen. And if you were left, uh, if you'd put copper and iron chloride in a beaker you would be left with copper and iron chloride because it wouldn't have reacted and a displacement reaction would not have happened. Here I've got three different examples of reactions. You need to look at the reactivity series of metals over here and decide whether these displacement reactions will happen. If they will, you need to complete the word equations. So pause the video now. So in the first example, we look for calcium and magnesium. Calcium is higher on the reactivity series than magnesium. So this will work. We'd be left with calcium sulfate plus magnesium. In this example, the metals are tin and iron. Tin is below iron on the reactivity series, therefore this reaction would not happen. Finally, copper plus silver nitrate. Copper is higher than silver on the reactivity series, so this will happen, and we'd be left with copper nitrate 
plus silver